Here we're going to take a look at the Mark Pettigene fly tying bobbin. First thing you're going to notice right off the bat is this little piece of wire that goes on the inside of the bobbin. This is a thread tension adjustment. So all you do is you just take this little tool here, this item that slides back and forth, and that will add tension. So this is fully open for your normal or larger spools of thread. If you have a small little spool, a little piece of midge thread, you simply just take this and you can see those tension arms getting tighter and tighter. So it's an easy way to adjust tension without having to bend out uh, the arms of your bobbin. Now you can see the tube on this bobbin is open. So it's a very easy bobbin to thread. You just simply take your thread, pop it into the bobbin. Then you're going to pull out uh, a few inches of thread here, just enough so you can work with it. Now there is a little metal wire, a little tab here. All you're going to do is take your thread, place it underneath that wire, and what that has done is it's lined up with your tube. I'll zoom in here for you so you can see more of what we're doing. So I've lined it up in the tube. Now on the tip of the bobbin we have this little piece of wire pigtail. And on the left side of it it goes down into the tube of the bobbin and what I can do is just take my thread and all I do is I just push it in and my bobbin is now threaded and you can tie a fly with that it won't uh, come out it won't come undone it's threaded so you don't have to use a threader or lick your thread or uh, blow air through the tube. Uh, it's just as simple as uh, lining it up and just pushing it into the, the tip of the bobbin. Now that we have our Pettigene bobbin threaded and the tension set for a larger spool of thread, we can tie a fly. The Pettigene bobbin is remarkably smooth. You can see here how quickly I can lay down thread how smooth it operates. You would think with that little piece of wire in there it would add some tension or some resistance but actually it's extremely smooth. That small piece of wire is rounded and uh, is hardened as well so it will protect your fine threads. Now the other feature to this bobbin is on the left side of the tube as the groove is facing you. I'll show you here. You can see right, right in there there's a little hook and what that hook is used for is to make a, a, a dubbing loop. And uh, you can do that without having to get out a, another tool. All you do is you just take your thread. I actually just take my index finger and usually push it down on the thread. If I want it two, three inches long, however long I want it, I just put my finger there and hold it in a place. Then I just drop the bobbin down and I just hook that little piece into the loop. And you can either kind of hold the loop or just let it hang. If you let it hang the bobbin will slowly spin. You'll have to reopen your loop. Then all you have to do is just take your dubbing or your CDC or whatever material that you're you're using, put it inside of that uh, loop. And I like to slide it all the way up to the shank of the hook. Then all you do is you just spin until it's nice and tight then I usually kind of rough it up with my fingers there and then you have a perfect little dubbing loop and all you have to do now is just wrap and this will apply the dubbing loop to the body now at the end you can see my thread is still hooked onto the hook what I like to do is I just take my finger and just grab the uh, thread I kind of give up on a little tension. I just slide my thumb down the thread till it comes out. And since we've already wrapped over our thread, you can do one of two things. You can either unwind this little piece of thread and cut it, or you can just continue to wrap over it until it naturally comes unraveled, like it just did. Then I'll lay down a couple securing wraps then you can just trim out that little extra piece of tag and you're back to just one strand of thread and continue tying. So very easy to use. You don't have to get out a separate tool. 
uh, you can use this bobbin as your dubbing tool and uh, you can find this great little bobbin at in the riffle.com